Hey everybody, how's it going? So, um, quick video here on modifying STL files using Fusion 360. If you need to change a feature, add a feature, whatever. Um, but this is just a this is gonna be a little quick one, a little five minute or uh, to bring in an existing STL. Maybe you found one on Thingiverse or whatever, and you need to make a modification to it. Um, this will let you do it. So let's jump right in. Hopefully you've already got Fusion 360. Uh, you just open a new design, right? File, new design. Uh, and we're going to go to, and hopefully you've already downloaded or you have said STL file. Um, so we're going to go insert mesh. And I'm going to pull in this moon base. Uh, this is the one I want to modify. And you can do either an OBJ or an STL file, either one. So we're going to open that. And I'm going to say, move it to ground and center it. Okie doke. And so there we go, I've got it in, but you can't do anything with it, right? Other than uh, flip it around and, and see uh, how beautiful it is. Uh, you can't do anything. If you were to um, draw, you know, do a sketch and try and extrude a hole through it or something, it won't work. Uh, it has to be converted. Um, so <clears throat> the way you convert it is simply uh, with a couple of steps. And this is a little, um, it's not straightforward, but it's, but it's easy. So first thing you need to do is turn off your uh, history, your design history. So you right click at your top level. Do not capture design history. Turn that off. Uh, and now you go to your bodies and here you have your mesh body listed, your uh, mesh that you brought in. We're gonna right click on that and say mesh to be rep. Uh, we're gonna select the body which we already have and we're gonna make it a new body so you hit OK, it does its thing for a bit. Now if you've got a really complex part and it's got lots of faces, say more than like uh, 40, 50,000, uh, Fusion does not like it and wants you to reduce it. Um, so if you run into that, where you when you try and convert to uh, mesh to B-Rep, it will actually give you an error or it will say, um, if it's around 30, 40,000, it'll give you a warning. If it's anything more than that, then it'll actually give you an error and won't let you do it, and you would have to um, reduce it. And so quickly, to reduce it, you would change your workspace to mesh. And so let's say this is the mesh we brought in. All you would have to do is uh, make sure you've got everything selected. You can do that or click it over here. And you're going to go modify and reduce. And um, I like to make sure this is set to uh, uniform and we're going to reduce our target face count and let's say if this is something like you know a hundred thousand then you just reduce it down to say you know thirty thousand and then try it again uh, try your mesh to be rep again if it lets you do it great if not then go back do it again and reduce it until you get to a point where it can so you know ten twenty thousand is usually a good sweet spot now when you um, get ready to go print your modified body you can always up your face count back up again so you'll lose detail on the conversion but you'll you can gain it back um, going out the other way and then you can always pull it in a mesh mixer and, and make it even smoother after that so anyway we're going to cancel that let's go back to our model workspace so anyway so here's a uh, nice basic body that we converted and now what I want to do is uh, I need to put a hole right here in the middle so I'm going to do a sketch of a circle center diameter circle and I'm gonna put it on this face and right in the center I'm gonna make it a 30 millimeter circle and now I'm going to select that circle and stop the sketch and now I'm going to extrude it and right out the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and let that cut Right, you can cut, join, intersect, make a new body out of whatever you cut out, whatever you want to do. In this case, I'm just cutting. And bang, there I have it. Uh, and so now, um, for what I'm actually doing, that's all I needed. I just needed a 30 millimeter hole so I could put a light up through here. But if you wanted to say this thing has a, um, you know, a nice kind of 45-ish degree uh, angle, and if you wanted to put a hole through this and keep it on that 45, uh, it's a, still a pretty simple process. Um, <clears throat> you're going to do the same thing. You're going to say, uh, let's do uh, let's do a rectangle in this case, a uh, center rectangle. And I'm going to put it, instead of picking a face down here, uh, I'm going to pick that face right there. And now it's asking me for a center location. 
So we're going to do, oh, I don't know, 5 by 5. And I'm going to stop that sketch. And then the tricky part is getting this thing to pick. Come on, sucker. Uh, and sometimes what you may have to do is hide that body and select it that way. Now you can bring your body back. And then let's go ahead and extrude this. And in some cases, you may have to extrude it in two directions, right? By default, it's one side. And if I do this and I cut it through, uh, you can see I get the red, but you can see here, there's still a couple of these weird faces in here. And, uh, and that's because it's radius and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, let's just do two sides. So we've got one side out already, two sides. So there's my first one. I just drug it all the way out to 47. Uh, let's do another one. And we're gonna say this right out the front and okay. And again, we cut that. And so now I've got a nice little channel cut or a square hole cut through my part. And you can see it is coming out the back just like so. And it is on that same angle. So pretty easy. And so there you go. That's the easiest way to modify an SDL, um, right? So you need to bring it in, you need to convert it. And once you convert it and you've got an appropriate amount of faces uh, for Fusion to deal with, you can do whatever the heck you want to it. Uh, so anyway, this is a quick and dirty one. It was meant to be not super detailed. So uh, hope you enjoy, hope you learned something and uh, catch you next time. Thanks.